Hello folks, I'm sad to make this video. Jesus is gonna help us out. Hello, he's got the, he's got the muscles. Uh, what I need you to do, turn this thing left and right until you hear the, the popping noise. We have a, uh, uh, a nasty popping noise on this brand new steering gear that we just put in. Let's go see what's going on here. You hear that? This is not okay. And we've been looking for about 20 minutes for this thing. I'm looking at everything besides the steering gear, which is what we just put in. Look at this right here. I can feel it. That creak, that nasty creaking noise. Watch this. Keep going there, buddy. Watch this right here. It's the in plate. See it moving? Watch that. This thing is eating itself alive. Go a little faster if you would, sir. Come on, work out. One more time. Fast. There it is. That right there. Unbelievable. Junk. That's brand new. Oh, time to do it again. An hour later, I have the steering gear re-removed again. It's out again, and it's over there on the bench uh, waiting for the new one to show up, so I think I'll just go autopsy that one. Since I didn't make the same video doing the same thing on the same truck a second time, we'll just go tear that brand new steering gear apart and see just how junk it really is. All right, we're over on the bench. Now, I've never autopsied one of these things before, so I'm not certain how this is gonna go. So I guess I'm just gonna start with what I can see, which are some fasteners. Pull these, these things apart here. Let's see what, uh, what the deal is with this. Heavy paint. Uno más. Let's see here. I don't know if I have to take this uh, adjuster nut off or not. But I do know I can't get my socket off with all this paint on these bolts. That's a that's a bad sign. I I should have known. But uh, BBK is a reputable brand. I don't know, maybe this is a counterfeit part. Or it was returned from a box. Like someone bought the BBK part and then threw this in there and returned it. It could have been that, because I don't, I just don't know. Yeah, there's some fluid. Okay, I do need to remove this little uh, adjuster nut business up here. This has carnage or no carnage. Okay, so there's our shaft. Here we go. Let's see. I need more illuminators. Okay, so looking down inside of this thing, 
I can see like the teeth marks from the gearing. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get this apart some more. I don't even care if I can't send the core back. So there's our spline bearings down there. There was a bunch of flex in those. I can't tell if this is a new unit, which is full of rust, by the way, or if it's been, uh, if it's just been rebuilt somehow or whatever. Yeah, that's a bunch of wear marks. This is a re-manufactured something something. They put new bearings and seals in it and painted it. Yeah, there's a bunch of wearing on these gears right here. Or a bunch of wear. This gear face is a different width than that gear face. I don't know if that's normal or not. So I guess the way this is supposed to function is when we turn the input drive right here from the steering shaft, it runs these gears across these gears right here and that's going to cause the shaft to turn. I think that's how that's going. So there's a bearing in there. What's all that noise? Yeah, there's a bearing in here and there's another bearing that supports that shaft down inside of this uh, little housing right here. Let's see what else is going on with this. There's our dust seal. And then down in the hole, there's a, looks like another seal. Okay. But that does, does not explain why this thing was flexing forward and backwards and why it appears to be sealed with a RTV silicone. So let me try to figure out how this thing comes apart. We can take it apart more. So this job's like throwing in two catchphrases. I love my job so much, I'll do it twice. And it, just because it's new, doesn't mean it's any good. So, I'm trying to figure how this comes apart. I wonder if there's a snap ring back here that locks this thing in position. Oh, I feel something. Yeah, there might be a snap ring on this piece. And it looks like there is a snap ring that I can't seem to get out with normal snap ring pliers. I can see the uh, little indent right there. I'm gonna try to go into that with a, uh, like a screwdriver maybe. Pop that snap ring out. Yep, there it is. What a piece of junk. Yeah, you scratch off all the cosmetic work and then down below it's it's ugly. Very ugly. What if I can get behind that ring with a little pocket driver here? No. Yeah, that's going to be hard to get out of there. Very hard to get out of there. If not, impossible. didn't get behind it. Okay, that's not coming apart. Uh, I need to get that ring out, not cool. I know how to get that ring out of there, but it's not gonna be a very nice method. <laughs> Loud noises will chop the case to pieces until the ring falls out. That'll, that'll work.
Yeah, <laughs> definitely an autopsy now. Come out. I win, kinda. Okay, the ring is cut in half. It's a start. Let's see here. I wanna try to turn it. There we go. Okay, it's half the metal ring. And the other half, it's gonna come out the same way, I imagine. Yeah, I have no idea how they get those things apart out in the wild, but that's how I did it. Now I see the pop that cover business out. Hmm, theoretically, it should just pop right out, right? There, popped right out. Okay, so we've got a seal in here. I can see how that cover could move around a little bit, but it doesn't explain why this was hitting the end of that cover. But I did find a big bolt or a nut. Let's take that thing off and see what happens. Or I'll rotate the shaft and it can do the work for me. Let's see if this thing's gonna come out. Here it comes, look at that. There's the piston. I guess that's the piston, or a piston. And the gear coming with it. Hmm. It's a bunch of bearings. Okay. So what was making all the popping noise? Worn out tolerances. Okay, so there's a there's a worm gear in there. That's how that's working. Take a look. There's a worm gear down there. You guys see? Now you can see. So that worm gear appears to go. It threads inside of this piston device right here, the one covered in rust, brand new part. That worm gear threads in here, moves this piston back and forth, and this piston is going to act on this shaft, turning the shaft. That's how that's supposed to work. Okay. So yeah, this is just worn out junk. Look, I'm looking at that shaft down there. Hey, look in there. I'm looking at the shaft down there and it's full of nicks and scratches and scrapes and damages. This is not a new unit at all. This is a fake part. Or somebody committed larceny and they reboxed a cheapo reman. I mean, look at this. This thing's covered in, it's covered in rust. How's this brand new? That seal doesn't look like it's been replaced. That is a hydraulic seal. Uh, it almost looks like there should be another one, like an O-ring right here. That's not even there. And there's wear all over the place. There's pitting in that gear right there, that gear face. The pattern on these are atrocious. Yeah, this thing was flexing and popping and making all kinds of noise. What a piece of junk. Unbelievable. Okay, well, I guess that completes the autopsy of the steering gear. It's not what I thought it was. This is garbage. And I have to do the job again. Love my job so much, I'll do it twice. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Autopsy complete.